In today's video, we are going to create a simple animated landing page in Frema. We are also going to create this infinite horizontal scrolling animation. And as soon as you scroll on the page, you're going to see this very nice delay animation. And this is very simple to create with just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get started. Creating a fully animated landing page in Frema is quite easy. And we are going to be using this portfolio landing page that we created in a few videos back to illustrate this. I'm going to leave the link in the top right corner of this if you're interested in watching how we achieve this fully responsive portfolio landing page. So let's get right into the main topic of today, which is animating this entire page. So to get started with our animation, first we are going to select the layer that we want to be creating the animation on. Here, I'm going to switch from pages to the layer section and make sure we are selecting the layers we want to animate. Here, it's going to be this H1 tag. We are going to create animation on other sections and other layers, but we are going to first start with this H1 tag. Once you have your layer selected, you want to go to the effect section and add an effect. I'm going to select on appear because on appear simply means as soon as the page loads. So I'm going to select on appear. And what I want to do is to click on a custom animation. So I'm going to click on effects and I'm going to go ahead to create a custom animation. Here on opacity, you can increase the opacity to one or you can drop it down to zero. I'm first going to increase it to one so that we can see other custom changes. On the offset section, I want to offset this 40 degree on the Y axis so that it drops down a little bit more. So I also want to reduce the opacity all the way to zero now so that it also fades in during our animation. So I'm going to close this up and test the progress of what we have. So I'm going to click on play. You can see what we have. The animation is quite fast. So let's fix that. I'm going to select the section, go back to our effects and open up our custom effect. On the transition section, we want to adjust some settings. First, we want to adjust the stiffness from 400 to 150. You can now see how smooth this animation is. Also on the damping, you might want to make some changes. And the damping basically, if I set this to 100, is basically this end transition here. You can see how slow this is, which is not what we want. So I'm going to revert it back to 40. And I think this is decent. So I'm going to close this up, open it up in the prototype and reload. You can see that this is actually nice. So we are going to go ahead to add this animation or this transition on other sections of our page. And in order to do that, I don't want us to go ahead to start creating this effect from scratch. So I'm going to select this particular layer where we have the initial effect. Come to this effect, right click and copy. Once I have that copied, I'm going to select the next layer that I want to create this animation on, which is this subtitle here. I'm going to right click on it and go ahead to paste in the effect. Once I paste in the effect, we can now go ahead to prototype this and you can see that this is also nice. But I want this main header, this H1 tag to animate before the next one. So I'm going to go back and on the subtitle text, I'm going to go to the effect and change a few things. So I'm going to open this effect transition up and I'm going to make this transition delay a little bit more. So in the delay, I'm going to make it 0.2 seconds. Once we have that, I'm going to close this up and I'm going to play this again. You can see that this has a delay of 0.2 seconds. So let's go ahead to add this animation on other sections. So I'm going to select this next call to action sections where we have this button. I'm going to right click on the entire section and I'm going to go ahead to paste in the same effect. Once we have that effect pasted in, I'm going to open it up and also create a custom delay from 0.2 to 0.4 seconds. That is because we want this second subtitle text to come up before the call to actions. So if you go ahead to preview this, you can see how this is. And this is quite nice. So the next thing we want to have an animation on is this social proof. Then we are going to go to our portfolio. Same thing on the social proof. I'm going to select this entire logos container. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead to paste this effect. So on the effect section of this, just like we've been doing, I'm going to also make the delay from 0.4 to 0.6 seconds. So this is 0.2, this is 0.4, and this is going to be 0.6 seconds. So after we've animated that, let's go ahead and preview this. We can see that this is working well. 
But the next thing we want to do here is to create an infinite horizontal scrolling effect on this section. And that is quite easy to create. So first, in order to do that, I'm going to create a duplicate of all of these logo items by holding down Alt or Control, clicking and dragging. So what I'm going to do is to quickly create a duplicate of all of this. Then I'm going to go ahead to rename all of this so that we have a unique name for everything. So here, I'm just going to quickly go ahead to rename this. So once we have all of this renamed, the next thing we want to do is to bring in the components that allows us to create our infinite scroll animation. And before we do that, I'm going to remove this existing element here because this is a static element so i'm going to just click on this which is the stack that is inside this logo i'm just going to click and drag it out of the screen so i'm just going to take it out of the page and you can also go ahead to delete it but if you're working on this you don't want to delete it yet until you figured out um, that everything is working fine but for me i'm just going to go ahead to delete it so that it doesn't cause any confusion so having this space empty this stack we want to go ahead to bring in the components that allows us to create our infinite horizontal scroll. So I'm going to go to this search and I'm going to search for ticker. The ticker component basically lets us um, create this horizontal scroll. So you're going to click on it. Then you can click and drag it into the container or the section where you want it to be. So for me, it's going to be here. And for this, I'm going to just reduce the padding on the top and on the bottom of this section. So on the top, I'm going to reduce the padding to 10 pixel also on the bottom i'm going to reduce the padding to 10 pixel i'm also going to increase this ticker component um, a little bit more so once you have this the next thing you want to do is to start adding um, the content of your ticker so here on the right if you right click you're going to see children items here so you can click on this and start adding the children so i'm going to click on add and basically you're going to see all of these our items that are outside of the page um, just like this all of this you're going to see them here as the option so you can go ahead to start selecting them and adding them it's advisable that you, it's advisable that you have them all um, on the same size so that it makes it easier for you so i'm just going to go ahead to add all of the children items that are here so once i have this completely added i'm just going to go ahead to close this up and as you can see that this is a little bit compressed I'm going to go ahead to reduce the height of this a little bit more and I'm going to increase the gap to like 60 pixel. Then I'm going to increase it a little bit more so that the last one here can show properly. So once I have this, you can go ahead and preview your prototype and you can see that this is actually really cool, right? So guys, you've been able to animate this header section. If you create a full screen, you can see that we also still have some elements that uh, in this top section here, this above the fold, which is our portfolio, and these two items. So we still have two animations to add um, with the appear trigger. So I'm going to go back to the UI, go back here. I'm going to select this layer here, which is the main title. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to select the title here. Um, this title that we have this, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go ahead to paste this effect. Once I do that, I'm also going to change the delay because I want it to delay a little bit more. I'm going to change the delay to 0.8 seconds. And I'm going to do the same thing for this second section. So what I'm going to do is to actually copy this particular effect where we have the delay already changed. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to select the next section here of this portfolio. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and paste effect. So if you go ahead and play this, you can see how this is really nice. So you can see how nice this is coming out. So to make this easier to see, we can go ahead and publish this and um, update the published version. Then we can click on the link to just open a different tab for this. You can see how nice this is coming out. So guys, once we scroll, we also want to add some animation to the next section here. 
but for this section i want them to come in one after the other i want i don't want the animation to be uniform just like the way both of these um, items are showing i want this to show up before the next one so we are going to go back to our landing page and for this second section we are not going to be adding the animation on this um, entire section just like the way we did for the first one we are going to be adding the animation on the item the layers themselves so i'm going to click on this second section and i'm going to select the stack for the first one here and i'm going to go to the effects first i'm going to copy the same animation we've been using here i'm going to copy this and i'm going to select the second section select the first item in the stack and i'm going to go ahead to paste that particular effect so for that i'm going to paste it but for this it's not going to be on app here because it's not going to show as soon as we load the page it's going to be layer in view so as soon as that layer is in view and i want it to be the center um, view i don't want it to start from the topmost parts of the layer so for the other settings like the replay i want to change it to no because i don't want I don't want it to replay at all and i want to remove any exit effects i only want this to show as soon as we enter and it happens just once because if we keep repeating it every time we exit it can be very annoying for the user so i'm going to go ahead to close this up i'm going to copy this this animation i'm going to select the next stack and i'm going to go ahead and paste this same effect so once i do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and I'm going to make a little change to this enter effect and that change just involves us adding a little bit of delay to this so I'm going to add a delay of 0.2 seconds so that this first one can show before the second one so I'm going to go ahead to um, publish this update the link and then we can go ahead to open this up So once this opens up, you can see how nice this is animating and you can then scroll up. You can see that this shows up before the next one, which is what we are trying to achieve. So guys, this is it. You can go ahead to start adding your animation to other sections of your page. If you want one layer to appear before the next one, all you need to do is to use the layer in view and add um, some delay to the next layer. And you keep going like that till you've completely animated your page. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and was informative. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you find this video helpful. Bye for now, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.